Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up the Samsung Galaxy A13 for the first time. So before you begin, you can insert a SIM card into your device. Once you have inserted the SIM card into the device, then we can begin setting up the phone. Now make sure the SIM card is inserted and uh, it is uh, activated. So I'm going to put it into the device right here. And then now we're going to press on the power button. Press and hold on the power button to turn on your Samsung Galaxy A13. Now on the next screen, you should see it say welcome. Now select your language and region. Then tap on the start button. Next in here, we're going to agree to end user license agreement and you can choose privacy policy and then tap on agreed. On the next screen, you can turn on or turn off nearby devices. This will allow you to scan for nearby devices and share information and then tap on agreed. And we're going to wait for the next screen. On the next screen, you can connect to a Wi-Fi network or you can skip. So I'm going to attempt to connect to a Wi-Fi network. And then after that, tap on the connect button. Once it is connected, tap on next. After that, it will try to connect to a server and see if there is any update so that it can update the latest software for your Galaxy A13. Now on the next screen, tap on the next button. Then say use your old device. If you have any uh, data from an older device, you can transfer the data them over and then tap on next. And now say I'm um, downloading smart switch so that it can uh, try to connect to your old device and transfer the data over. Now in here you can choose a source whether it's Galaxy or an iPhone, you would tap on it and then you can follow the on-screen instruction. Now I'm going to tap on the back key because I do not want to transfer the data at the moment. So I'm going to tap on don't copy. And now say checking info. Okay, at this step here, you can sign in with your Google account or you can skip. If you skip, you will have a chance to sign in on the settings menu. I'm going to tap on skip for now and then tap on skip. Next, it asks you do you want to turn on any of these features such as use location, allow scanning and others. So tap on any of these options and then tap on the accept button. Next, you can also set a security such as face recognition fingerprints, pattern lock, pin lock, or password. If you don't want to set up a lock screen, uh, a password on your lock screen, you can tap on the skip button and then tap on skip anyway. You can always go back into the settings menu later on to set up your password. Now, it says review additional apps. You can choose uh, any of the apps that you want to include or not include in this uh, setup. For example, if you don't want to use LinkedIn or Office, you can deselect them. So any apps that you don't want to include, you can remove them from the list here. And then tap on OK. So there are quite a few number of blocks where uh, blocks where a software that you don't really need, but it gets uh, pre-installed on your device anyway. So you can, uh, you have the options to remove them before setting up your device. All right. So now it asks you to sign into your Samsung account. Now I would highly recommend you sign into your Samsung account at this stage. If you don't have one, you can tap on the create account button to create a new account. Once your Samsung account has been created, if you happen to uh, lost your device or if you misplace them somewhere else, you can uh, use your Samsung account to locate or find the missing device. But uh, in this video, I'm going to tap on skip and then tap on skip. It said that 
uh, without Samsung account, you will not be able to use Samsung Cloud, Galaxy Themes from a mobile, uh, Galaxy Stores, and Samsung members. You can always tap on the sign in button or tap on the skip button to go to the next page. And after that, we can tap on the finish button to go to the home screen. Okay, once you are on the home screen, tap on the continue button. And then tap on, it says here, it will try to uh, set up uh, some apps for you. I'm going to tap on skip. And on the next screen, it will try to optimize apps. I'm going to do this later. We say, do you want to install any of the recommended apps? If you don't like them, you can deselect them. So you can deselect the apps that you don't want to install. And then tap on finished. And then tap on finish again to finish off. And that's it. Now we are on the home screen of the Galaxy A13. Now if you want to go into the settings menu, swipe down at the top and tap on the settings icon. And here you'll be able to sign into your Samsung account. You can also sign into your Google account by tapping on the accounts button down here, accounts and backup. And then tap on manage accounts and in here you can tap in your, you can sign to your Google account. And then tap on the home button to return back to the home screen. And that's it. That is how you can set up your Samsung Galaxy A13 for the first time. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.